Well, hello, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today, a guppy tub update. Here are all my guppy tubs. I have five of them ranging from, I'm going to go with about a 40-gallon drum. It was a 55. I cut the top off and a little bit down. Then we have the Clarion Square. I'm going to say that's probably about 20 gallons, a 10-gallon tote, and two 18-gallon totes. These are the hot pink ones that Aquamama loves so much. Hope the babies are doing well, Aquamama. Anyway, you can see there's quite a bit of movement in this tub. And in here there's a lot of fry and uh, hopefully male grass guppies since I don't have any downstairs. In this tub, I thought I lost both females. And I wasn't gonna get any fry, and the you know the tub was like, no soup for you, no fry, no nothing. But I don't see the female. I haven't really looked for her either. But there are quite a bit of fry in here, and of course a spectacular uh, red mosaic dragon guppy. <clears throat> I think these are red cobras, and those are just mutts. And there have been quite a few drops in the mutt tank. As usual, mutts are on sale at the website still. Uh, buy six for the price of five till the end of uh, the weekend Memorial Day sale. So check out michaelsfishroom.com for Michael's mutts. Buy five guppies for 20 bucks, get a sixth one free. So six guppies, $20. It's like $3.33 a guppy. That's cheaper than Petco or PetSmart probably most fish stores and they are going to be hardy and spectacular of course there's shipping involved but whatever all right guys i'm out here to give you an update and i'm going to cheat i'm going to scoop some guppies out and see what they look like you want to stand by i think you do all right fishy folks we're going to scoop some guppies we're going to cheat and check out what the guppies look like before the season is over it's now september 1st it's saturday you'll see this on sunday Sunday fun day. Um, probably in about two weeks is when I'll start considering taking the guppies in. My rule of thumb is when it overnight it's under 70 for a sustained period of time. I'm not talking, you know, around two o'clock it hits 69 and then around five o'clock it hits 70 again because the water is going to stay over 70 for sure. But when sustained temperatures overnight are under 70, that's when I put my guppies inside. And in New Jersey, that's anywhere from the middle of September to the, the beginning of October. So, um, Also, check out my friend Scott. Scott runs Fancy Tail Guppies. Sorry, Fancy Tail Aquatics. I bought a shirt. <coughs> I like supporting uh, fellow breeders. Uh, Scott doesn't have a website, but you can certainly check out his stuff on eBay. Fancy Tail, just search Fancy Tail Aquatics on eBay. You should be able to find his listings. Um, seems like a nice guy. And uh, he also sent me some food, which I talked about in the last video, I think, or the video before that. I have to try that. And uh, I'm going to do a review. He basically told me, if you trash it, you trash it. If you like it, you like it. You know, it is what it is. And that's good because that means he knows me. He understands how I work. All right, fishy folks, let's do some cheating here. I scooped some out of the uh, the mutt tank, the 40 gallon mutt tub. Look at that male. I mean, I'm sure there was some red cobra in there. I don't know what else, but that is a spectacular male. Look how big the females are. Even the females' tails have color. I'm excited. I'm excited about the mutt tub. All right, I'm gonna pour these back. See if I can get some more from the mutt tub. Oh, yeah. There's a nice mutt. There's a female that's all black with a yellow tail. And she's got a little silver in her body, too. But And then there's... Look at this male. Look at that male. It's like purple and black and red. Oh, man. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited about these mutts. You guys are, should be excited about these mutts, too. When I pull these in, oh, these are great looking fish. And mutts are so much fun. <sighs> Should we go for another scoop? Okay.
I'm actually gonna scoop it though with a net because there's a female I want to see if I can get and show you. She looks like the size of a dolphin. Now, of course, she got all scared in here, but she has a blue tail. Look how big she is. I mean, she's this big. She's a guppy. She's this big. She's like this fat. Lots of fry, too. That's a good-looking guppy. I'm excited about these mutts. I don't know if I've told you. I'm excited. <clears throat> I gotta let the dog in. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. That was Indy, our Jack Russell Terrier, who was a stray we adopted about 10 years ago. I'm gonna take a peek at the next tub, which I think is Red Cobra. I think. I don't remember. This was the first tub that had the green water in it, which of course I love for the guppies. Let's see if I can catch this male. I got him. Oh wow, he is spectacular. Wow. Wow. Look. Look at how beautiful that is. It's got a gorgeous big wide tail. Great door, uh, pectoral fin. He's, he's not a red cobra. I don't know what he is. Maybe I have all mutts out here, but who cares? They are spectacular. There's like green and purple in his body. Oh, oh. I'm really looking forward to bringing these guys inside. Hopefully they'll stay out as long as they can. That didn't make any sense. Hopefully they'll stay out as long as they can. They're gonna stay out as long as they can and soak up the uh, vitamin D from the sun and eating the nutritious bugs that they eat all day. All right, let's scoop again. So this tub, this is the 10 gallon tub and it has the uh, red dragons in it, the red dragon mosaics. Um, they're not really dumbo ears, but they kind of look like dumbo ears. So what happened here is I had two females in there. Wow, that is a nice looking fish. I had two females in there and I don't know, two or three weeks ago I found a dead female, I pulled her out and I couldn't find the other female, and I thought for sure she was stuck in the moss somewhere, dead probably, but to be safe, I, I didn't look for her in case she was trying to drop fry, and apparently that's what she was doing, because there's like, I don't know, 30 or 40 fry in there, maybe not 30 or 40, maybe 20, 20 fry in there, and I still don't see the female, but I'm not really concerned, I thought I just saw her. But, so when I thought I lost the females, I thought that tub was like, no fry for you. But no, I got fry. And here's the male who has really color, colored up nicely, easy for me to say. This is the uh, Red Dragon Mosaics. They'll be for sale at the Keystone Clash. I'm bringing them. They're also on the website, Pairs and Trios. They are quite spectacular. Silver body guppy, um, as you can see, great pectoral, I'm sorry, dorsal fin. The pectorals are bigger than usual. Not quite Dumbos, and they're black. And then the mosaic tail, just a spectacular guppy. All right, let's check this tub. Wow. Water's a little cloudy, not cloudy. Uh, tannins, got some tannins, so it's hard to see, but I don't know if you can see that male with the bright blue tail and blue dorsal fin. Looks like he's got a gold or yellow body. That's a spectacular guppy. And there looks like there's some Dale fry in there. I don't know if you can see, probably not. Tiny fry. <clears throat> Pretty excited over these tubs, guys. Pretty excited. Let's see if I can't grab another scoop, see if there's any other males in here. No, just fry. Tubs are pretty cool right now. It's about 75 degrees. It rained a lot yesterday. Um, so a question I get asked a lot is when do I pull my guppy tubs inside? When the sustaining overnight temperature is below 70. 
because if it's you know 69 70 at night it's 78 79 during the day and the water is probably 75 which is fine um, I mean it was a hundred degrees here for about a week a couple weeks ago and everybody survived it seems like um, no aeration no filter no nothing Bob just like you buddy um, not Bob steam fought Bob Kaler's fish hobby anyway um, so that's when I pull them in when the sustained temperature overnight is 70 degrees lower than 70 degrees and I don't really worry about them during the day even when it's 100 degrees because at the bottom of the tub it's cooler than that and that's where they all hide and they all have shade and that's how I make my tubs you know as maintenance free as possible the other day I put a picture on uh, Instagram and Facebook water change for my tub days water change for my tubs and it was pouring rain and that's how they change water I don't really I'm not really concerned over any pH swings either some people said oh the rain water could be less acidic and blah 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 and I don't care everybody's fine all right last tub shall we take a look this is supposed to be grass guppies and I'm really hoping I get some males because to tell you the truth I don't have any males inside anymore I, that's not true I have the one male in my all-male guppy tank um, but I don't have any males from all the babies I have and there's like 30 of them in there I mean those are some nice females but no males let's grab the net stuck in the clarion tub this net has seen better days all right let's try to find a boy that would be lovely there's a lot of fry in here let's take a look at these fry probably won't be able to tell nope <laughs> all right one more scoop we'll look for some boys i mean i know there's a boy in here because i put one in here but i don't know if there are any baby boys what the hell is that what in the bejesus is that thing it's some alien looking bug. Look at it. Oh, well, it fell. And now it's dead. All right, well. One more scoop. I told you one more scoop. This, this tub, the uh, floating plants have done the best in. Actually, all the plants have done the best in. I have this. What is this called, guys? Look. Look one ginormous vine of this rickia no not rickia what is this called look look how beautiful it is and long anyway i forgot what it's called but my buddy corona ken who lives here lives here lives close to here and goes to my local fish store uh left a bag of plants on his porch might come get them so i went to get them and that's mostly what was in it of course not that much it's done really well out here in the tubs um i don't see any males i don't know why i'm not surprised hopefully when i uh when i clean the tubs up i'll find some males or at least some of these fries will turn into males so that's it for the uh for the guppy extravaganza hope you guys liked it don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com michael's mutts are on sale buy five get one free so six guppies for 20 bucks plus shipping really can't beat that that's cheaper than pet coat or pet smart probably cheaper than most of your pet stores and you know you're gonna get good quality uh hardy guppies so certain certainly check it out all right guys see ya well hello fishy folks and happy sunday fun day to you today I don't know.